Hello St. Patrick's, Rob Maslowski here. Welcome to the Monday of the third week of Easter. Um, today I'd like to reflect a little bit with you on the gospel for today. Um, the gospel today comes from the gospel of John chapter 6 verses 22 through 29. So if you haven't read it yet today, um, I encourage you to take a moment, read it through a couple of times, and then come back and watch the rest of the video and reflect on it with me. But if you have already read it, let's dive into John chapter 6. Now John chapter 6 is exceptionally important for Catholics and we'll get into more about that as the week progresses. But today I want to look at it from a specifically modern standpoint in reflecting on the interaction between these disciples that come looking for Jesus and his response to them. And so we pick up in this gospel immediately following the uh, multiplication of loaves and fish. And we see that many of the people in the crowds that have come to believe in some capacity in Jesus um, go looking for him. And they finally find him. And when they, when they do, uh, Jesus responds to them saying, Do not work for food that perishes, but for the food that endures for eternal life, which the Son of Man will give you. And then he later continues, This is the work of God that you believe in the one he sent. I think that's especially important today because we often see Jesus respond to believers and non-believers about their pursuit of earthly riches. Whether that be fame or fortune, Jesus talks a lot about that we're not created for this life, we're created for the next, and how that perspective should change the way we live our lives here on earth. Um, but here specifically, I think it's especially important because in a certain way, the disciples are seeking Jesus. They are seeking him. You know, they, they went out to search for this, this man who they believe to be, to be something special. Even if they haven't have come to that fullness of faith in believing that he's the son of God, that they believe that there's something special about him. They want to follow him. But Jesus calls them out on this because he recognizes in them that there's, there's a fault in their faith. That they're not seeking him because they believe, but more so that they're seeking him because what he did for them made them feel good. And I think in today's world, we all can fall into this trap as well. I see it oftentimes among both the young and the old who... Um, kind of have an envy or go out looking for the sort of kind of worship tainment, or at least that's what I like to call it, worship tainment, that many of our Christian brothers and sisters partake in. You know, that being, you know, um, upbeat contemporary music and these uplifting sermons, which by all means, there is a place in our faith for those sorts of things. And I think that the Catholic Church can continue to learn from our Christian brothers and sisters um, in how to do those sorts of things well. But at the same time, I think there's a danger in having our faith based on those sorts of things. Because I think oftentimes what worship attainment results in is sort of a faith built on the foundation of good feelings that we get from worshiping God. We, we build our faith on the good feeling that that pastor gives us when we hear that uplifting sermon. We build our faith on the good feelings we get when we appraise God in that uplifting and contemporary music. And that creates a certain shallowness of faith that often doesn't survive even the most simple challenges, like when a pastor gets called off to a different church or to, to um, a missionary lifestyle or perhaps when the worship band gets moved to a different church and no longer worships with you on Sunday. And so I think when we look at our faith, whether we're Catholic or Christian alike, we have to look at what we are pursuing. Are we pursuing that good feeling we get from worshiping God? Or are we pursuing an authentic relationship with Jesus Christ? And I think what we will all find when we are pursuing that authentic relationship is that when we do pursue that relationship, there is nothing that can keep us from continuing to pursue God. No, no matter what the hardship, no matter who the pastor is, no matter what the music is like at Mass, we will always desire to spend time in, in relationship, spend time worshiping God on Sunday and much more often than just Sunday as well. Um, because we are not created for this life. We are created for the next. We are created for Him. 
And so as this week continues and as we dive deeper into the Bread of Life discourse um, in John chapter 6, we'll continue to look at exactly what that looks like for us and what should we be seeking. Um, and one of those great things that we have in the Catholic Church and in our Catholic faith that gives us the opportunity to have the most intimate relationship with Jesus on this side of heaven is the Eucharist. Um, and so that is what we'll get into more um, tomorrow. So I hope you'll join me then. Thank you for joining me today and have a blessed day.